Now we take a look at the foundation for our jQuery carousel slider. Here I just made a diagram with just quick pointers as to the different elements that our slider consists of. On the left here we have left transparent container. This whole circle here will be inside of a div and will have a class of less left transparent. And likewise on the right it will be in the div as well but it will have a class of right transparent. So down over here we have UL element with a class of scroll buttons and each of these elements inside of the scroll buttons will have a class of scroll button and on top over here we have image with a class of carousel item so now each of the images inside of the carousel will have an, a class of carousel item and on the right hand side here this link when you click it it takes the carousel to the right will have a class of right link and likewise on the left it will have a class of left link and all the images inside of the carousel will be inside of a div over here with a class of wrapper and that one wrapper will be contained inside of a div with a class of carousel inner now you may have noticed that the wrapper is bigger than its container carousel inner and we did that intentionally so that we'll have that scrolling effect from right to left so the Carousel inner will be a small, that is this red box that I, you see me following over here. And then its child, which is a div of class wrapper, will overflow the parent element so that we'll have that effect. So just as in the previous tutorial, the carousel inner will be contained inside of a main container with a class of carousel outer. And that will be a div as well. So now that we've confirmed the different elements of our slider, Let's go into our text editor and start laying out the foundation in HTML. As usual, we'll start by creating our CSS files and JavaScript as well. So we'll create a basic CSS file called style.css. Then we'll create another one called advancedcarousel.css. And then we'll create a JavaScript file called advancedcarousel.js. Likewise, we'll create a custom JavaScript file called custom.js. Now, if I refresh in this folder, we do have jQuery inside of here. And we have some photos inside of the image folder. So I'll show you what those photos are actually. So these are the photos that we have here. We have a uh, logo one and logo two, logo three and logo four. Those are the ones that will be in our jQuery slider, as you can see here. And this left link photo is this link over here that will be clicked to take us to the left. And this one over here is the one that will click to take us to the right. So let's go back into our text editor and continue writing the framework for our jQuery slider. Now that we've created all the files that we need, advanced carousel and everything else, all the JavaScript, we'll start by laying out how the page will be. So we'll have a main container of div and then we'll give it a class of page. And inside of that, we'll have another div With a class of carousel outer and then inside of that as well we'll have another div with a class of carousel inner okay so inside of our carousel inner we'll have a an a tag with a class of left link and then we'll copy that and duplicate it and give that one a class of right link. I'll show you in a moment what those links are. In between the links, we'll have a div with a class of wrapper. Inside of our wrapper here, we'll have a bunch of images 
now I'll just stop the recording and then add those images so you won't see me typing that okay here we go now I've, I've written all the images inside of the wrapper yeah so basically these images as you may have remembered they are corresponding to the image that I showed you here logo 1 up until logo 4 so outside of that image we'll have underneath the images just before the right um, link here we'll have a ul tag with a class of scroll buttons now inside of the scroll buttons we are not going to write anything there all the links that are going to be here as in these links they're going to be dynamically created by the plugin that we're going to write so the plugin will scan all the images that we have inside of the wrapper and then determine how many links we need inside here okay all right so now you remember i did tell you i'll tell i'll show you what the left and the right link is it's these over here this left link and the right link as for these boxes here that have an opaque attribute to them these we're going to code them outside of the outer carousel so we'll have a div outside of the carousel inner and it will give it a class of left transparent likewise just outside of the carousel inner we'll have another div with a class of right transparent okay now that we've, we're almost done with the framework for our HTML, we just need to do two more things. I just realized that we made a mistake here. A tags are not self-closing elements, so we need to close them. So we close them, and then inside of the A tag, the left link, we do need to add an image there. And the image will have a source attribute, source of left link. It will be linking to the left link.png image. And then we'll give the A element an href of hash we'll do the same for the right link down here as well so self close it give it a href of hash and then inside of it we'll put an image and then link it to the right right link okay source Right link. Okay, here we go. Here we are in Firefox. Now this is how our jQuery slider looks like without any styling applied to it either through CSS or JavaScript. So these images are stacked up onto each other. What we're going to do next is start styling them using CSS. Okay, that brings me to another point. We'll be styling the slider using both JavaScript and CSS, but over 90% of our styling will be done in CSS. This is so that we'll be able to give users total control over how the slider looks so that they won't even have to modify our plugin so as to make any styling modifications to our slider. Now here we are back in index.html. I just realized that this UL tag here needs to be moved right below the right link. That's because when we float these elements, they all need to be above these scroll buttons here. Okay, so now we start styling the whole page, including the jQuery carousel slider. So first we'll give the page a width of 960 pixels. And then we'll center it. So we'll give it a top and bottom margin of 0 pixels and then left and right of auto. Back in our index.html, at the top here in the header, we're going to link those files now, link to the CSS and then below, just before the closing body tag, we're going to link to the JavaScript as well. So we have link, relation, style sheet. href of CSS and we have styled the CSS so we'll link to the second CSS file as well the reason guys we have two CSS files is the first one will be just related to our page 
and the second one will relate it only to the jQuery plugin. So if you distribute your plugin anyway, you only need to distribute this second file and not this one because this is only related to your page. So now down here, just before the closing body tag, we're going to link to the JavaScript that we're going to be writing. So the first one we're going to link to is the jQuery. And then we're going to copy that and then paste it twice. So the second JavaScript we're going to link to is our plugin. So it's, co it's called advanced carousel. And then the third one will be our custom.js where we're going to be calling our plugin. So now back in Firefox, when we refresh, we'll see that we have a smaller page and then it's been centered in the middle of the page. So now we'll style this even further to make it look like what we have over here. So there you have it guys. We've laid out the basic foundation for our jQuery slider. So next we're going to further style our slider so that it looks even better and exactly how we want it to be. So I'll see you in the next video.